please stand. And let us pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his church. May the oblation of this day's feast be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray. That through this most holy exchange, we may be found in the likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him Christ made, or God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with the angels and the archangels, with thrones and dominions, with the hosts and the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all that you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things, and you make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. And therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts that we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son and our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night of his betrayal, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. And he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith. Church, 
and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit and may become one body and one spirit in Christ.
Um, first of all, I want to offer thanks to all of our wonderful volunteers who put in many, many, many long hours to so beautifully decorate the church for us for Christmas. How about a round of applause to show them? Next Sunday, of course, is New Year's Day, and we just want to remind you all once again that our schedule of Masses for the weekend here is going to be our normal weekend schedule, except there will be no 5 o'clock Mass on Sunday afternoon next week. Also, because of the holidays, no confessions will be heard on Saturday, New Year's Eve. Two or excuse me, yeah, 2012 calendars are available after Mass. We are selling them for $12 each. This calendar celebrates 100 years of our church in pictures. Father Bob Lindsay has gone through the archives and pulled out pictures from each decade of that 100 years and has placed them in the calendar. It's a quite beautiful memorial of the church and of our celebration that we are entering into this year. So again, those will be available for $12 each at the entrances as you leave. On behalf of the entire parish staff and all of the Redemptorists here at Our Lady of Perpetual Health, I want to wish all of you a very merry and blessed Christmas. If you do me a favor now, within your pews there are some little cards, some little prayer cards with um, Mary's picture on them, or Mother Perpetual Health. And on the back of those cards we have our campaign prayer for our capital campaign. Campaign. We'd like to pray that together at this time, please. Generous and loving God, at baptism I accepted the call to follow Jesus. Send me your Holy Spirit that I might now have wisdom to move forward on my faith journey at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Redemptress Parish. Help me to develop and share my gifts as a good steward, so that I may use them in love and service for your kingdom. Bless our capital campaign with deepening devotion to prayer, a growing commitment for service, and increasing levels of generosity as I work to advance the mission of our parish. Our Lady of Perpetual Help, pray for us. You know, I, I told that story about the um, little boy at the homily. Got another little kid story that I just have to share with you. I got a big kick out of this one. This child comes home from Sunday school one day and went to his mom and he's all excited. He says, Mommy, Mommy, we learned all about Jesus Christmas today. We learned how Jesus Christmas was born in Bethlehem in a manger, how Jesus Christmas grew up, and how Jesus Christmas was crucified, and then Jesus Christmas rose from the dead. And his mom's kind of chuckling to herself, and she says, Okay, John, that's great. I'm glad you learned about Jesus, but why do you call him Jesus Christmas? John looked at her and says, well, that's his last name, isn't it? And she said, no, that's not his last name. And he said, well, his mother's name was Merry Christmas. So on that note, Merry Christmas, everyone. in the Feast of our Redeemer's Nativity may through an honorable way of life become worthy of union with Him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you all. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And our Mass is ended. Let's go in peace.